letter is we don't have. She wouldn't share the letter with me, I think, to protect from us just taking the letter and sending it ourselves, probably. Right. But she said um, they've been pretty successful at either getting the rents or um, people just leave because they don't want to, either they don't know that the home's being taken in foreclosure and so they well, just move out to avoid the Well, I mean, issue. obviously these people are paying rent to these people. Yeah, sure. So I mean, I don't imagine they're going to care whether they who they send the check to. I mean, they could care less. That we care yeah, that's just what the attorney said has been happening. And they can't. I mean, he can't throw if them out. If they leave, who cares? Give us the rent or leave. We don't. I mean, that doesn't matter, does it? No. Well, then we just we, don't want the owner collecting fees and not paying. Well, then we just have to foreclose on the house. But I mean, if we could collect the rent from these people, yeah, then that's fine and pay up our, you know, pay up what he. What they owe. Yeah, if, the, if, if they do it, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it could be a squad. Well, they have to do it. Right. It could be a squad. Or they may leave, though, is yeah. what I'm saying. Either they pay or they leave. There's two no, options. But, no, but they, they pay anyway. That's what I'm, That's my point. They, they pay the homeowner. They send a check to the homeowner. Oh, trust me when I tell you, they wouldn't be in there. So they are I mean, getting a check every month from these renters. Somebody's paying the electric bill and everything, so it must be a well, Somebody obviously the renters fees. are paying the electric bill, but they are also paying the rent. Yes. So instead of sending the rent to Mr. Jeans, they're going to send it to us, and we'll take it off of what he owes. Yes, or and they then, will leave, or they will leave the property and not pay anyone any rent. Well, then okay. I, I would say let okay. the attorney handle this. Okay. I make a motion to let the attorney handle this so we can obtain the rent. The way to go, then? Yeah, that's the I only, think, one I think that's the only yeah. way to go. I mean, that's the only one in here that that is in, you know, he's not. If paying. there's a tenant there and we could get rents from them, I think it's worth a shot. Yeah. A lot of associations are doing it now. Is Bob going to get out of the law? Well, now that the law has changed. To pay the attorney? I don't know what the average rent is in Meadowbrook, but I assume it's going to be in the thousand plus range days. a month. And right. that, and, and basically, month, we can collect the down. rent from them until we are paid up. Then after right. that, they can go back to paying Mr. Jeans or whatever. That's right. And as soon as he goes in arrears again, then they have to send the check to us. Well, I'll second that. And uh, let's keep it the turn. Okay. Turby, Phil. All in favor? Two, three, four, uh, aye. Aye. Two, aye. Three, two, three, four, six, eight. Turbyville. Um, the pre lien letter was sent three four of ten. Um, we received bank foreclosure complaint. They answered the complaint on five eighteen. Case is still pending. So it's just moving through. So in other words, the bank's foreclosing on this house. Yes. And we're pursuing recently sold to Smith and Watham properties. And that's all been taken care of, correct? Well, it's it not off the list yet. We haven't got the money yet. The attorney did, and that's um, on the next page of my sales update. The attorney received the check. They're holding the check. They said they would give, they would disperse the funds to the HOA on the 26th of July. Because it wasn't a certified payment, they hold to make sure it clears and everything goes through, and then they cut us okay. the check. So what will we On the check, right? Yeah, he paid in full. He had the attorney estoppel in his hand when he. Yeah. That's fine. He will that's disperse the funds to us July 26th. July 20th, yes, so we should get that in a week or so. Um, the signs 23411 Old Meadowbrook Circle. A bank foreclosure complaint has been filed. 515, uh, the attorney answered. This remains open. We've got that one. They've been sent a 45-day letter from our office, so they'll be sent to the attorney right. for the lien next. But the bank is also the bank is also closing. Yeah. Okay. And that's the end of that report. What about the lease? This lease something. Oh, the sales oh. and lease. Wait a minute. Um, 
this second phase, the 23441, that yes. has gone off of the uh, H receivable balance. So apparently we've got the money. I assume all the attorney fees were paid. It was a mortgage company that was sold in June. I it was sold to um, Eric and Catherine Carlson on 7 8. So a little, little confusing. Uh, the the uh, Lee County property appraiser had it sold on six twenty five. Yeah. So seven eight maybe when we when we received the notification of the closing. But anyway, you sent them a welcome letter, mm -hmm. and you've gotten in here that the past two accounts remain, but according to Laura, they don't. So I don't know. Okay. You have to check into that. Tighten up that the ship. Up. No, forty one oh four. That is um, that's the, that's beach, right? This is the one that brought in the check, and that's the check that the, pay, the lawyers are going to send us. Okay. This one is the one that has a for sale sign in front of it on the lane. Okay. And you said there was a sale. Pending. There was a sale pending. We did an estoppel for it, and it was supposed to go through. I think in um, June. It didn't. So I guess they're still trying to sell it. It sounds like they're still having open houses. So in other words, their sale fell through. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you did take care of the Gibson thing that they're no longer there, and you yes. did send them a yes. a booklet. Yeah, we resent that. Yeah. Okay. No, shouldn't send them a booklet. The welcome letter. No, I sent them the welcome I, no, letter. I don't mean a booklet. I mean for I sent their the rules assessment or the community oh, info because they never got a, an assessment. I don't live next door, uh, so that's the only way I know that. So I don't have any pending leases right now for July, um, and the current leases I have are on that next page. I, I, I sent you an email about that one that has a parent sign in front of it. Is that one of them? Or no, lease Wait. expiration. Okay, these leases expire. The one that um, I crossed out. That was the previous runner. Okay. So Crystal is the current runner. And then the one that's um, 23406 Old Meadowbrook Circle, the lease expired 930 of 09. I sent them a letter about that in February. And the compliance committee, it was in a, it was in a later report, and they said they never received my February letter, so I sent that back to them. But I don't think they've taken any action on pursuing that as a violation. What we do, this what we have, you have uh, leases on all of these in your office, right? Yes. They have applied for. Yes, and it could be that this tenant moved out at the end of 93009. I just don't have that information. If they're still there, if they renewed. That's the only one on here that's expired and is. Okay, and, not and I think it's this 23458 that now has a for rent sign in front of it. so. It Oh, is it empty? Is it no, I don't know. October. I don't know. I'll leave that as is for now. We just so you want us to check? I so in other words, if it says move out, this is when these people leases re expire. Okay. Then does the management company send them something that say that we have to approve to renew? if they're going yes. to stay? Yeah, we send letters out, usually though, just like a month or, or three weeks before, we'll send them out, we check them once a month. So um, Donna Ingram is expiring this month, so they got one. But this, the one that expired in 09 was well expired when we took over, so I sent them a letter saying, it's expired, you need to renew, and that was, So I don't know if, there's, if they're living there. So no one's Two, three, back to me. three, seven, seven. Isn't that close to you, Bill? I'm fine. Two, three, three, five, six. Yeah. This is the people that are across. The 